everybody welcome back so today we got a few things to get into all right now i want to start off talking about chloe bailey so chloe bailey had to clap back at someone on social media because i don't think that these were actually fans okay for some reason chloe bailey has a lot of people who are hating on her and she's been having to deal with this for a while because she's been getting a lot of people coming for her just over sexualizing herself and people just adjusting to chloe being a solo artist and how she wants to drive that how she wants to look and how she performs and everything like that so people were giving chloe a lot of backlash after she released a video of her singing a melody in a swimsuit so in her caption she basically said that she was going to be going for a swim but she had a melody in her head so she decided to sing it and film a video of it now people were in the comments of this video because they didn't believe that she was ever going for a swim they were judging how she tied her bathing suit the top piece and they were just basically feeling that chloe was in makeup a full face of makeup and that she was never going for a swim she just wanted to be sexy in a video and sing which we have known chloe to do some of these videos when she's singing and she does appear to be you know a little more on the sexual side so chloe actually responded by saying were you with me that day babes you weren't yet you claim to know my daily activities and people are actually saying that chloe is a very nice person because even when she snaps back at fans she still keeps it very nice she doesn't go below the belt or say these crazy wild things like how doja cat will say to some of these haters online so what do you think about this whole situation with chloe did you watch the video of her singing this melody if not go watch it on twitter all right so next i want to talk about how people are discussing the next wave of it girls so after big artists such as Nicki minaj she's going to retire one day so somebody put it out there who they think is going to be the next wave of it girls and we're mainly talking about female rappers so they're claiming that doja cat dochi rico nasty and cupcake are are basically up next and this post also stated that flo millie leo and lotto may have a chance as well so what do you think about that do you think that any of these girls are up next to be the main it girl quite honestly i think doja cat is already the it girl so I really don't think she needs to be in this. I think Doja Cat is already already a it girl. You know, she just has to maintain, especially with this next album going coming up. You know, I know she's gonna put out another album and she seems very stressed and overworked right now. You know, she's got a lot going on. So I think Doja Cat is already an it girl, but what do you guys think about the rest of the ladies who they mention? Are you guys fans of any of these other female rappers that are coming up? I mean, Lotto's making a lot of noise. Lotto's making a lot of noise right now, so we'll have to see how that plays out. Now, speaking of female rappers on the come up, Lakia puts out a new song called Real B featuring Gloss Up. And some of you may already know Lakia from her last single called Mind Your Business featuring Lotto, which I really like that song. It was all over TikTok. It was a real good song. And Gloss Up, who's featured on Lakia's new song, Real B. Gloss Up is actually one of Glorilla's friends and she is um, on that song called Set the Tone where it's Glorilla and a bunch of her friends on there. So Gloss Up is actually on that song and Gloss Up was recently signed by Quality Control. So have you guys listened to the song? I listened to it. I actually like the song. Lakia makes me think of Sweetie for some reason, but she's the Sweetie that I thought we would have gotten. You know what I'm saying? And we will talk about Sweetie in another video because there, there's a lot going on with the fans basically accusing Sweetie of some things, all right? But she gives me Sweetie vibes, but a better version of it, like as far as her rap skills. So moving on. So we have to talk about Nicki Minaj because you all know that Nicki Minaj is performing tonight at the MTV Oh, um, video awards and she's also hosting and she is getting the video vanguard award so are you guys ready to see Nicki minaj's performance i'm definitely ready to see what she comes up with she also released a new song on her queen radio volume one compilation album and queen radio volume one is aiming to sell 25 to 30k units in the first week 
Now, there is some, some talk about, you know, the sales and some people are basically saying that's kind of low. But remember, this is a compilation album. So just keep that in mind. But basically, Nicki Minaj has been feeding her fans so much music and she's been on Twitter like crazy engaging. So like I've been saying before, if you are a really big Nicki Minaj fan, I'm sure you are really excited right now because she is all the way back and she is giving her fans what they want. She's giving them music. You know, while we're sitting here waiting on artists like SZA, okay, because I'm really upset because I like SZA and she needs to put out some more music. So we're waiting on other artists to release their albums like SZA, City Girls, Chloe Bailey, and the list goes on, Holly Bailey, the list goes on, okay? So anyway, speaking of albums, so DJ Khaled's album, God Did, is debuting at number one on the US albums chart with 105 to 115K sold first week. Have you guys listened to the album yet? And what songs do you like on the album? I still have to listen to this album. I heard people basically saying that they like Jay-Z's verse on one of DJ Khaled's songs. So I still have to take a listen to this album. But if you've listened to it, what song do you like on the album? I know that he has a lot of people on this album. And then speaking of albums again, we have to talk about Beyonce. So Beyonce's Renaissance album actually reached 500 million streams on Spotify. So, you know, we've been talking about Beyonce going on vacation and how we think she's not going to even be at the VMAs or do any performances. She's not on the list of performances for the VMAs. So I'm really not going to act like some surprise is going to happen where I'm going to see Beyonce up there. I'm really not. But... I can totally understand her album did numbers okay the streams are doing numbers the girl can take a break she because she was spotted on vacation if you haven't seen that video where i posted that and people were kind of hoping for a performance uh from her but i definitely understand she can definitely take a seat and relax and kick back now i want to talk about leo really quick so basically she was on twitter and she was talking about how she could never chart but she continues to focus on putting out music that she likes, but then she actually corrected herself and said that she doesn't care if she charts or if she doesn't chart and that she's just going to focus on putting out music for her fans. Now, I did talk about her because someone mentioned that she could be in the lineup for one of the next female artists that's going to be one of the it girls once like these big rappers like Nicki Minaj retires one day. So what do you guys think about her as an artist? Do you like her music? I love that song that she has with Flo Millie. Um, I thought that song was really, really good. So what do you guys think about this? When she tweeted this, it made me feel that she probably does feel a little bit bothered by it. You know, I mean, as an artist, who wouldn't want to be charting and doing really, really well and being in the spotlight and reaching all these milestones like you see your other female rappers or other artists achieving? But I definitely feel like she just has to keep focusing on the core fan base that she has now. And if you guys watched that video where I played the video of Bia doing an interview talking about, you know, starting out with a smaller fan base and then signing too early and just giving like advice to artists who are just kind of starting out and getting out there. And, you know, Bia was saying that you have to focus on the people who do rock with you. And it seems like Leo is going to be focusing on that as well. So I think she should just focus on putting out music that she likes and that her fans like. And the accolades will come. The accolades will come. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. And we will be talking about the MTV Video Music Awards tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. Have a good day. Bye.